Hey everyone, I'm Odette Maimoni, and today I'm going to answer all of your questions from this video. Let's start. So, this video, I'm going to answer all of your questions from this video that I published six months ago. This is the must watch video uh, on my channel. You uh, really asked a lot of questions, and I'm going to show you how to do the things that you wanted to do in this video. So in this video that I published six months ago, I show how to create a button in the dashboard that create PDF for each filter in the page. Of course, using Power Automate. You asked a lot of questions about uh, a lot of things that you can do with the action that I'm using in Power Automate. Of course, I'm going to show you how to do it right now in this tutorial, but I'm going to start with the uh, most common question that you ask about the license. We're going to use in this video uh, in Power Automate. So of course it has to be licensed for Power Automate. In Power Automate, I'm going to use an action called export to file for Power BI reports. And for this action, you need to save the report in a, in a premium workspace. As you can see, this report is saved in a, in a workspace uh, with a type of fabric content, what we, all, we, what we known as premium. This uh, action that I'm going to use in the Power Automate called export to file for Power BI reports, you must use premium workspace or fabric workspace. It's not going to work if you're using uh, another type of workspace. So this is for the license part. Okay, and I'm going to start from scratch, and I'm going to create the button that's going to save the PDF uh, with uh, Power Automate in the dashboard. And the first thing that I want you to remember, create all this action from Power BI service. I mean from the web, not from the Power BI desktop, because the Power BI service is well set synchronized with the Power Automate. If you're using Power BI desktop, maybe, it's going to be a problem. Maybe you're not going to see all of the columns that you are uh, sending from the Power BI to the Power Automate because of the synchronized problem. So remember, create this button from Power BI service. So if you're in the dashboard and click edit, here you are in a position that you can edit this dashboard and uh, develop uh, things like you can do in Power BI desktop, of course, you cannot do all of the things that you can do in the Power BI desktop, but uh, the things that we are going to do is available from here. So the first thing we are going to do is to insert the page, the Power Automate visual. I'm going to send the Power Automate visual, the column that I, the data that I want to send uh, that I'm going to use in Power Automate from Power BI. So as I did in the uh, first uh, video, I'm going to send the column from the product also, I said it before, but I'm going to say it again because it's important. Remember, if you're going to filter the data that you're sending from Power BI, you have to apply the filter all pages in this dashboard because if you're using filter in this action from Power Automate, it's not going to filter anything if the filter, if this column is not applying in the slide filter from here in this filter pane. So as we did this, we're going back to the Power Automate visual, choose the environment that you want to develop. And from here, you click in the three dots and edit. From here, you can see there's a, a lot of uh, templates that you can use. I'm going to choose the trigger from a Power BI button and to customize the action that I want. Okay, great. So. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to use is obviously the Power BI export uh, action that I talked about. This action, the export to file for Power BI reports. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to choose the workspace. And of course, the reports. This is the current report that we are working on. And the format that I'm going to keep is PDF. So. The things that I'm going to show is the question that also you ask a lot of time is how uh, you can create one big PDF with the filter that we're going to choose in the page. Because I showed in the previous video 
how to create a PDF for each filter. But you ask how to create one big PDF with the filter uh, that apply on the PDF also. So how you can do this? As you remember, this part is for the uh, filter. So I'm going to show you how you can filter multiple values uh, using this uh, action. So first of all, you have to write the name of the filter, but remember to also write the name of the table because this is the full name that it expects. I'm going to write the full name. And also, I'm going to filter also, uh, one, more than one column. How I'm going to do this? So, look, if I'm writing the in operator and use it as I use an, uh, with an SQL, for example, in and then all the uh, values with comma between them. And of course, if it's a string value, you have to remember to use the apostrophe between each value like this. So if I want to filter a uh, red and blue color, I'm going to use it like that. This is how it's supposed to look. Before we are going to run this, I'm going to save the export to see what's going to, what happened uh, when the file is created. So I'm going to insert one more step. I'm going to use the OneDrive action. Okay, this is how it's going to look. I, I give the folder path. I give it the file name and also the content is from the export to file content. So I'm going to save and apply and run this flow. Let's back to report. And then you can see this button is created. I'm going to click it, but because it's an asynchronous uh, action, when the trigger is run, it doesn't mean that it's done. It means that only run the flow, but it doesn't mean the flow is completed. So after it finished, it created PDF file in the folder. So as you can see, it filtered the page. You can see only the blue and the red value for each of the pages. So if we know how to filter more than one value, we're going to use it now, the data that we are going to, that we send to the Power Automate from the Power BI, we're going to use it as a filter, but we need to uh, do some transformation so we can use it as it is supposed to uh, be in the filter because it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be the uh, value uh, in a string with comma between them. So you need to uh, do some manipulation to make it look like that. But it's small manipulation. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. This is the time for you to hit the subscribe button if you like my content. So the first thing that we are going to do is to initialize variable because we're going to use a variable that's going to keep the data that we are sending from the Power BI. We're going to name it as the color filter because this is what it's going to be. And the type is going to be string. So because we need to filter uh, to be look like that, value need to be concatenate like that, we need to run on each value that we are sending from the Power BI button click and to append it and to uh, make it look like the filter that we want. So we're going to use the append. This action, the append to string, variable is going to concatenate the data that uh, come from the Power BI. And I'm going to choose the uh, variable that I already created. And the value is going to be from the Power BI button click. We're going to choose the Power BI data color. This is the field that we send in here. Automatically created apply to each loop because of course, it's probably going to be more than one more than one value, more than one color is going to be choose. So uh, automatically apply to each is created. And this is fine. This is good for us because append going to uh, concatenate the data and save it. So uh, it's not going to be removed in each loop. You're going to see it's going to be concatenate all of the data that come from the Power BI. But the data is sending uh, only the value, but we need it to be with apostrophe and comma between each value. So I'm going to add it like that. I'm going to write it like that and add comma. 
And in uh, between the apostrophe, I'm going to use the Power BI data color. So I'm going to run it and let's see how it look. Before I'm going to use it here, let's see how it look. So I'm here in the flow that we just ran and you can see that it, it does what we expect it to do. It creates all value with the apostrophe and the comma, did it for all the value that uh, came from the filter. But the things that we can see, if I'm going to the, uh, from the last filter, if I'm go moving to the uh, last filter that is uh, applied, you can see that it keeps the comma for each value. And uh, we want the the left the the last one the last value to be uh, only with the apostrophe, not uh, include the comma because the comma is only uh, if it's going to be another value after. So we're going to uh, use uh, some uh, power automate manipulation. We're going to use expression to delete this last comma that uh, has been created here. Let's see how I'm going to do that. For here, I'm going to delete these values that I created uh, manually because I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use, of course, the variable that we just created, but we're going to do some manipulation. This is the expression. I'm going to write it for you in this video so you can just copy it. And of course, uh, you have to change this output to put the uh, variable that you created. This substring is uh, for you to uh, delete the last comma that has been created in this apply to each. So let's see, I'm going to save and apply. I'm going back to the report, but right now I'm going to uh, filter only the blue and the black. Let's see how it look here also. Here I, already, I only have the blue value. So let's back and it's supposed to be look like that. Okay, it finished. Let's see the data that created. Here you can see it return only the blue as you saw in the dashboard. And here I can see the black and the blue. So this is how you do the multiple filters, multiple value in the filter and to create one big PDF with the uh, filter that you choosing in the dashboard. Okay, so the next question is going to be the one that asks how can I save uh, each PDF for each filter, but in a separate folder that uh, you want it to create folder for each PDF. So let's see how we're going to do that. I'm not going to uh, explain uh, a lot about how to save uh, each PDF for each filter because this is what I uh, showed in the previous video first but I'm going to show you how to save each PDF in each uh, folder that uh, is been created in the in this uh, flow. So uh, I'm going to uh, remove this subscript, uh, this uh, thing that we just did because I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use the value that come from the Power BI and to loop on that. And the create file is going to be inside the loop. For oh, the name, I'm going to use the file name, but the file name, I want it to be uh, the value that uh, uh, come from the filter. So I'm going to use the Power BI color and also give it the prefix. File content, of course, is the file content. So I'm going to save each file in the separate folder. Uh, if you give the folder path a path that doesn't exist, it's going to create that. This is how it works. So I'm going to give uh, the deck comments that this file this file is really exist, but I'm going to add a subfolder that does not exist. So it's, it's going to be created. Let's see how it work. I'm going to give it also the Power BI data color here. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to run the button and let's see what's going to happen. So as you can see, two folder has been created automatically, two of each filter that I chose before I ran the flow, black and blue. And inside of each folder, the PDF file has been created. The PDF, of course, filtered with the value 
that uh, we just sent from the Power BI, uh, also the black and also the blue. So this is how you can create a folder for each filter that you apply in the Power BI. So the next thing that I'm going to show you also uh, one of the questions that you asked, how you can uh, bring to the uh, export to file action more than one page if you want to filter uh, the page in the Power BI, if you want it to create file only for specific pages. So I told you that here in the page name, you're, you're obviously not uh, writing the page name as you see it in the uh, sheets here in the pages, you write the ID of the page that you can see here in the uh, part, in this part of the URL. Uh, you can see that if I'm going to move to the page, that, uh, to other page, this ID is been changed. So this is the ID of the uh, pages. So, of, uh, okay, I, I'm going to copy it and going to paste it here, but what if I'm going? Uh, what if I want to uh, filter more than one page? So, if you click here, and you can see this is a switch to input entire array. So, if I'm click here, you can see it's been created an array for us, and you can uh, uh, write more than one page. It's going to be look like that. Like that, you can filter more than one page. You can write the page name like that, and then the page ID. And if you want to filter uh, another one, you're going to add another uh, JSON like that in uh, with a comma after the next one. So this is how you're going to uh, create filter of the pages uh, in, the, uh, in this uh, action. Let's see if it really works. It's going to bring us uh, the page like that. Uh, remember that this is the grid of the second page, the page three. So let's see how the order of the pages going to be. Okay, the flow uh, ran success successfully and let's see what uh, was the output. If I'm going to one of the PDF, you can see of course that all the pages, the two pages uh, that I just filter are applying, but you can see that the second page the page three is the first one because i when i uh, choose the filter i wrote the first this uh, this uh, page first and then this one so you can change the uh, order of the pages if you want uh, with this filter great so moving on to the last thing that i'm going to show you within this session if I'm going to this uh, dashboard uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, go to the bookmarks, you can see that I have bookmark here. I want to uh, show this visual as a pie. Uh, this is the default and this is the pie. What about showing specific bookmark with this action in Power Automate? How am I going to do that? If I go to the export to file action, you can see I have this bookmark name. But people are uh, uh, wrong to think that you uh, have to write the bookmark name as it show here. No, you write the bookmark with. How you can see the bookmark with? You can see it here. When you open it in the service and click on the bookmark that you want to show, it uh, add into the URL the bookmark with. Um, just copy this part and paste it here. Save and apply. Let's run it and see what's going to happen. So the flow finished. Let's see what was the output. Let's go to see. And you can see it's showing the pie in this, uh, in this page because this is what the bookmark do. Let's see, of course, the other file showing the same. Yeah, the same. It uh, showed the bookmark that we just uh, gave in the action. So this is it. I hope uh, it was really helpful for you. Of course, if you have more questions, you obviously welcome to write it down in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. <laughs>